All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. We're still talking about Dataverse security, but this is the last video. So I've been going through this series of all this stuff related to Dataverse security, and we're finally in the last section of other stuff. So this is a whole bunch of stuff that I thought is important to cover when we talk about security for Dataverse and Dynamics 365 CE, but it didn't really fit into any of our other categories. So let's jump in and talk about what's left. Quickly, I wanna talk about sharing and access teams. So individual users have access to share particular rows with other users, right? So maybe I have two users, say different salespeople, they're in different business units, and but they wanna work together on an account, right? They could share that account and then both have access to it. This could be good, but I think this can quickly become a problem if it becomes the basis for your security. So anytime security is created, all of these records go into what's called a principal object access table or POA table. My rule is if you are thinking about the POA table, then you're probably doing something wrong because you don't wanna have a lot of records in there because it'll be crazy. And this can cause performance issues just like everything we talked about. Any additional complexity you add could potentially cause issues with performance if it's you know done on a large scale, right? So we do have the ability to use access teams, which kind of facilitate easier sharing and reduce some of those rows by using teams and things like that. So that could be a great option if you have a complex security model, but Generally, I'll encourage you to try and think of a different solution and not that is not based on sharing, right? Let's look for a way that we can simplify our model and make it easy for us to maintain and easy to handle everything and not be kind of crazy. The other thing to keep in mind with sharing is that you can't see all of the share records when you're on the form, right? So when you're looking at a record and you click share, it'll show you who this record is shared with, but sometimes you can't see them, right? Because in our example, we talked about, let's say I have my two accounts and then I have, they have all their contacts related to them and their opportunities. When I share that account, some of those share records cascade, which is related to their relationship behavior. And if I have my sharing set to cascade, then there's inherited shares created on all those lower records. So if the sharing is the basis for your security, there's a lot more sharing going on than you realize, right? Because when you're sharing that record, there's so many other things that could be being shared. Just some food for thought to think about as you're planning out your implementation. One alternative, or maybe if we're, you know, if we're struggling to figure out our security, something that we could talk about is our hierarchical security, right? So this allows us to set up our security in a hierarchy. And this could be done with a manager or a position hierarchy. And the idea here is that me as an individual user, I can see my own records, right? My manager wants to see their own records and my records, and they should edit both of them, right? And then the next level up from that, they could see everything, but they can only edit, I think, one or two rows, right? And so based on how far you are away from me determines your visibility and the update access you have to my records. So it's really cool, a good way if you're kind of in a very strict hierarchy, either by actually using the manager field, or if you can use, you can build a hierarchy based on job title and do it that way. Um, but kind of a good way that you can look at as another alternative for your security. Also remember that there's security on the environment. You can assign each environment an active directory group, and this will determine who is added to that environment, right? So this is a way to make sure that unnecessary users in your organization don't show up as users in your environment, right? We only want people who need Dynamics, who need Dataverse to show up there, and we only want to control access for them, right? So generally you will create your kind of whatever Active Directory group for everyone in that environment. You will assign that group to the environment, and then only users within that group can have access to 
dynamics. And if you also create a team within that, like we talked about, you could create an Active Directory team for that same group and assign your kind of base security role to that. And then whenever people are added into that Active Directory group, then they would have access and they'd have their role and they'd be all set up and ready to go in Dynamics. Also, one last thing is security of our processes, right? So this can be your business rules, your plugins, your workflows, your classic workflows, and your Power Automate modern flows, right? They all have this scope, which I think we should talk about because it is a little bit related to security. It's kind of using some of the same terms. So it's determining when does this process run? You know, what what's it related to? What records does it apply to? Generally, I like to keep all of these at organization and then use conditions within the process to streamline it down to what's needed. But it is something that you want to talk about for each item. You know, do you have different automation that will fire for your sales your users versus your marketing users or are all records treated the same? Right. So it's something to think about. And also important, we mentioned business rules, right? Your business rules could be set up to run just on specific forms or to run on all of the forms, or if you set it up to run on the entity, then it would actually trigger kind of like a plugin on a save, even if the form wasn't open, right? So lots of things to think about in there, but just make sure you're aware and paying attention to these things because they can impact that functionality for your users. It's been several videos, lots of talking about security. I hope that you enjoyed this session. I hope that this was beneficial for you. I'd love to hear your comments below and any topics or questions that you have about security or about anything related to Dataverse that I can help you out with. Thanks for joining me.